counsellor one day a week, and I really, really like the young people that I work with. Um, and I can't understand this argument that you've got to be 18 to vote. I mean, can vote sensibly at 14 as far as I'm concerned. This is called School Counsellor. <clears throat> And I look up as she opens the door. How will it be today after a week's break? Will she talk or just stroke slow grooves in the sand tray? Think what to say about school. Did she shout again, fling books on the floor with breathtaking force to shatter the maths class silence? She fidgets on the plastic chair, stickily aware of the silence between us. Outside the room, feet run past the door. I catch her eye. We smile. We can breathe again. She talks about her form tutor and breaks down in tears. What is it about this too fast pace of school that makes her feel stupid? A slow learner, words bombarding her so she can't follow. Slow down, she wants to shout, but they enforce silence. No one-to-one -one time anymore with Miss like primary school. Perhaps, after all, counselling is a doorway to self-knowledge, I think, and break out in a half-smile. We can breathe easy in this room. The sun filters in. A breath of air comes from the window. Now, I say, slowing <coughs> my words, tell me about that half-term break. What I really want to hear. Please don't go silent on me. She talks of her mum yelling, a brother door slamming. Almost a, re a relief to come back to school. Mum said I should find someone like me at school, someone as mad. This 12-year-old is breathing fire into her day now. Feelings no longer door jammed. She grabs a pen, scribbles, fuck you, slows down, draws a giant skull in metallic red, silently. This fuck you is a first. I smile. An hour has passed. We break off. See you next week, first thing. She breaks the caramel galaxy, downs a lot, nods, exits. Against school rules. I don't mind either. Now silence envelops the room. I sit back, breathing in the linger of chocolate. What was said hangs here in slow motion, a life suspended till next time. I'll lock the door when I leave. In the break, we'll hold on, breathe, reflect on school. Next week, with slowed, silent steps, we'll open another door.